Hey everyone, welcome to the Global NLP Lab, a place where we discuss the latest in natural language processing. Large language models have shown great potential in recent years, from generating creative text to predicting protein structures. But access to these models has been limited due to their massive size and required resources. Today, we are taking a look at a new model, LMA, which was released by Meta AI. LMA is a state-of-the-art foundational language model that is much more parameter efficient than comparable models such as GPT-3 or PA-LM while achieving superior performance. LMA is currently available to use for research purposes. So, let's get started. Introduction Over the last year, large language models have shown new capabilities to generate creative text, solve mathematical theorems, predict protein structures, answer reading comprehension questions, and more. However, full research access to large language models has remained limited due to the resources required to train and run such large models. Smaller models trained on more tokens are easier to retrain and fine-tune for specific product use cases. Today, we are looking at LMA, a foundational language model available at several sizes, 7, 13, 33, and 6 to 5 billion parameters. The 6 to 5 billion model is one of the largest models of its kind currently available for research purposes. LMA has been trained on a larger corpus than some other foundation models, such as GPT-3. The 6 to 5 billion and 33 billion models are trained on 1.4 trillion tokens, which is about three times larger than GPT-3. Unlike previous work, the model has been exclusively trained on publicly available data, without resorting to any proprietary datasets. The training dataset contains 20 languages with the most speakers. The architecture of LMA is pretty standard and similar to other transformer-based language models, except to small modifications and optimizations. Results the authors perform extensive experiments on both zero-shot and few-shot learning benchmarks covering common-sense reasoning, closed-book question-answering, mathematical reasoning, reading comprehension, code generation, and others. The main result is that the 13 billion L -la MA model outperforms GPT-3 on most benchmarks, while being 10 times smaller. It's important to note that the comparison here is not with the latest GPT-3 model that has been trained on instructions, but with the previous iteration released in 2020. The 6 to 5 billion L -la MA model is competitive with the current best models, Chinchilla with 70 billion parameters and PA-LM with 540 billion. Additional gains can be achieved through instruction tuning. The authors also perform an interesting evaluation of the evolution of performance of the models during training. On most benchmarks, the performance improves steadily and correlates with the training perplexity of the model. It seems that there's still potential for scaling these models further, which can be achieved either by scaling the training dataset or by increasing model size. Both are helpful. So, to sum it up. We took a look at LMA, a new foundation language model by Meta AI. LMA achieves great performance that is comparable or better than much larger language models, making it an attractive starting point for fine tuning on specific tasks. LMA is available only for research use at the moment, which is one of its downsides. The license doesn't allow for any commercial use. So, that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe to stay tuned to new NLP videos. See you next time.